1929. My father's name was Jerry Blake. My mother's name was Ethel Blake. Daddy born in a place called Hagley back over there. My mother born, born in a place in Georgetown called Rose Mount. Well, I got one brother and one sister left. Okay. It were five of us total. I'm the oldest. You're the oldest. I'm the oldest. That's one of my, the last school teacher that I had. That's my last school teacher. She was your last school teacher. What grade was that? Five to six, five and six. She was a slim built, nice looking lady, with long gray hair. She had good patience. Could take a lot of good time with you, explain things to you that I didn't understand. Give you a couple of whipping if you missed your words, and all, all that was in it too. Okay. You had to go pronounce the words correct. If you didn't, you had to go back over it. And if you missed it again, you probably had to write it four or five thousand times, five hundred times, something like that, before you go home. Paper. You write it on paper. Write it on paper. Before you leave school, that is. Ms. Ruby was a friendly lady, she was real nice. The only scary thing in the school at that time was me, because I didn't know nobody up there that didn't know much about her. Okay. We had to learn each other before we, before I could kind of get around some. Because I was a big boy, I was a big, I was a big young fellow, that's why I quit school. Yeah. I was going to school out here. The school out here last five months, we'd take two years to make one grade. And I was a pretty good sized fellow, even in low grade, so they let me go up there to school with longer. When I went to Miss Rubber School, we went to school nine months okay. instead of five. Okay. And at that time, we made the grade every year. Okay. And at that time, and like I said before, Miss Rubber takes time to explain things to us, especially to us, because we are, we are a little, little undereducated at that time. And she has to explain a, a good bit of stuff to us so we could understand what you're talking about. And sometimes we didn't get it right, we had to stay after school hours to get the words that she trying to explain to us mm -hmm. in order that we understand it. She played a good role in my life right behind mama. All right. A good role in my life, she taught me a lot of things. I remember a lot of things from that after I'd grown up. Okay. Uh, give, I, I, give me a couple of them. Well, how to read things, okay. how to understand them what you're reading, okay. how to go business fi like, like explain the same thing for yourself, how to support a family. All, all like that, you know. Okay. How to careful, you know, that's a big word now. How to carefully look at young girls. Take your time looking through life at for young girls. Tell me how she taught you that. Uh, well, that was in a, I think that was in a, a health book. Okay. That's a story kind of out of a health book. And me being the big fella and the big mouth, I used to ask a lot of silly questions. Okay. And that comes into it. I look up in life, I was come through life, I was growing up to be a man, I guess I've been about 14, 15 years old at that time. Okay. And she was explaining that to us. I was in the fifth grade. Well, the school, we had an art house back, we called it down the road. We had a nice playground in the area. We had a nice lunchroom right down across the playground. We had a wooded area where we go to play sometimes. We steal out to go play. We couldn't play over there, but the bunch of boys get together and steal over there. And then okay. Come back and probably get a couple of slap for that, a you know, hand, hand lash for that, because you disobeyed the rule and that was something she was explaining to you against. The fall we had learned to follow the rule. Be on time. Don't speak nothing that's going to hurt you. Think twice before you speak once, and all that like that. Mm -hmm. 
My mother couldn't read, and she wanted me to learn to pronounce words that she didn't know nothing about. Okay. My daddy hardly be home. He used to work in Myrtle Beach, come home once a, once a week. Okay. And I had to be the one, the most times I could help my mama, because uh, from reading from the third grade, I used to pronounce a lot of different words, spell the wrong, misspell the words. And my daddy come home and find a word with misspell. He didn't like it too well because he wanted me brighter. He wanted me to grow up brighter than I was at that time. Okay. That's how I got to take me from the five five mud school, take me to the nine mud school. Yes, right here across the street. At that time, it was St. Mary's School. St. Mary's School. Okay. At that time. Well, we got the, just uh, nearly about the same training, but it was slower. Okay. Slower at that time. Uh, at at Resuba School, we had to go on a space time. You had so many minutes and so many hours to get there. Like when you go to spelling, right. you had spelling be up there at Resuba School. Then you had about 15 or 20 minutes for that class. Okay. Over here, when you just Stay it on your seat until you get to work. Change the education now, I ain't never know nothing about it. Well, we had the education going now, but in terms of now, you got education and technology and all that thing. See, they've been an upgrade I didn't get to. Okay. And I just found them after I grew up, started raising the family. Well, we just talk, talking in school about the raising the family. I didn't know nothing. What, I didn't know what that was until I got married, and had four children. Then I, I realized what raising four, uh, the family comes at. Yeah, he was living at the time, Reverend Forsyth. Talk to me about Reverend Forsyth. Well, I went to Rev class. I only went to Rev go to Rev for English. From the sixth grade, you have uh, two days to English, or you go out, you call it the stage, go up on the stage, go up the rib. Okay. For that. And he would do almost the same thing, uh, like uh, Miss Ruby. Okay. He would tell you different in the noun, the pronoun, the sub noun, and all that. Well, I forget what it was now, but right. all that, all you that. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and all that, but up there with them. And you have to tell those words when to use the pronouns and when to use the nouns and all them, you have to use them correctly, like I said before. If Reb tell you don't do something, you better not do it. Because if you do, you'll all be, you'll all be a little sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Because uh, and he, and he tell you don't do, Blake don't do so, so Blake don't do that. Because if Blake do it, then you have to go to the office. And uh, when you, you don't like it too well when you get in the office, okay. I think that you could do better. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what kind of punishment did the Reb dose, dose? I know I heard about Ms. Ruby's. But Reb didn't give him no less than five licks in the hand. And okay. he couldn't move the hand. The hand only go up and down like that. And you stay there and take that leg. I think been about that long. Been about that wide. Is this, is this the fan belt? It's, a, it's, it's a belt. It's a mill belt. What am okay. I talking about? Okay. The mill, he's, he was on the mill. Okay. But he, I, I, he had him cut off and fixed up, but he could handle it, I guess, you know. Ah, okay. But he let you know when you get in your hand. Well, now, I don't know much about the girls. Now, the boys can go with the boys. Okay. Now, I got a couple of beatings for that playing with the girls. I got a couple of beatings for that. I got 15 cups of that. So, when I was with the girls, I was, the girl's going to, if you, a girl go to the office at that time, mm -hmm. the girl go to the office first. Okay, okay. And you on the other side playing there, and she come up, then you go in the office. Okay. Like that, but sis studying together, all studying the same class. Well, we play ball. Basketball? No, no baseball. Baseball, we play, okay. We play baseball, and we, the boys had a, a game to call run. See who could run the fastest and who could get there first. Okay. Something like that, yeah. Okay. That was our game. Uh, 
If you had something too hard to handle in school in your in your lesson part, you take it out to doing the recess and two other bigger boys in high grade they're mostly happy with it. A certain report if you do out of school and somebody reports you about it, you have to get into the room and explain why you do it. Something like that because we had a class and was stealing and you weren't supposed to steal and if you steal something and get caught and be reported and the rev get it, you got to go in the rev and tell the rev why you do it and the rev won't get back to your mom then you're going to be you know, all over again. Okay. Like that. I, I tell them, I'll tell Miss Ruby, stop Miss Ruby, you bring me off the ground. I said, Rev, you really done a good job. I got beaten from Miss Ruby once for spelling the word moth. I was in sixth grade at that time. We were supposed to be in class at 2 o'clock. Instead of me being for the rest of the class, I went on down and played with some boys down and got in the class late. And the time I got in the door, he, she called that word on me more than I even knew what we were talking about. And I misspelled the word and I got beat that because I should have been on time to keep the word. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah, we, we walked from here to school. Okay, so you walk? We walked, I walked about two months. Then Daddy bought me a bicycle. Then we ride bikes back and forth to school. Okay. From here to school. About how far is it from here to Missouri? Well, Lord, that's, that's, that's where that first I go? Right. I guess about two and a half, three miles from here. Okay. Because there wasn't but one highway then. There was no dual highway like this right. now. There right. one. A lot of times patrolmen used to guide us, you know, cause another traffic. And the patrolman come by, he'd stop and he'd slow down behind and let us ride right ahead of him. At that, at that time. When I went there, it were four old boys. Okay. When I went. Okay. And it was about six girls. But uh, no, they didn't walk all the time. They get the truck, the farm truck, or the mailman probably would come through and pick them up and take them, take them up. But we board, we don't eat on your foot on the bicycle. Right. Geography. Geography. Yeah, you had a little thin book to call Geography. Uh -huh. I should like that because it, the Geography book used to be something like a health book. Tell you how to plant it, when to plant it, uh, and what kind of way wind blows. Okay. Uh, see, that's the old time. That's, that's years ago. <laughs> see, all those little thin things be in the book like that. No, Daddy gave me fifty cents a week for lunch, and I paid the rest of the uh, lunchroom. Oh, they served a good lunch. Now I used to wait on that. Just now. <laughs> give you a good lunch there. I used to wait on that. Well, sometimes they give you rice, okay. uh, collard beans, or snap beans, or tomato. Mm -hmm. Then you have macaroni. Okay. And you have you don't have to have a day now. They have switch around to the same. And they had apple pie. And you have like blueberry pies, like that, like that, you know, they cook it right there. Buy something like that, but you get good lunch when you're all over. Okay. What kind of meats did they have? Well, they had a hamburger, and they had a small steak meat. I don't know what kind it was, some kind of little steak meat. And a little pork chop meat, a little small pork chop thing. And when you finish your lesson, and if you, if you miss one, you stay in at 6 o'clock till you get it. All right, and Miss Ruby or Mr. Forsyth stayed right with you? Oh, they'd be upstairs. Or, they'd be upstairs. Yeah, man, you're down there doing what you're supposed to do. And you get it ready, then you go upstairs, you give them your paper, and they'll check your paper. You stay there till they don't check them. Then you come on and go home. My first job was being um, a creek boy. I used to work on the beach of 
over there on the Paws Island Beach okay. with some folks. And you wait table and you go in the creek. Okay. And you go get the mail and all such like that. It's called Tyson. Tyson. Okay. That's where this golf course and thing down the Paws Plantation. Okay. Yeah, uh, he used to have the big house to be down to the creek and I used to work with the big house down there. Okay. Uh, it's clean the yard, pick the grapes and all such like that, windows and all that. Those kids now, there was two two twins, two times. And the one way late came by. Out of a boy and a girl first, okay. two girls next, okay. then one boy next. Then you had, had to work for them just like the in school. <laughs> yeah. You had to work for them so they won't have to steal. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's, what, that's, that's what they taught in school. Yeah. 